man. So um, I wrote this poem, and it's in it's in parts. But instead of having the usual numbered parts, what is that called again? It just dropped. Uh, cantos. Cantos. Uh, instead, it's instead of the number, it's a, it's an actual title of the new movement in uh, the poem, and it's called Three Wishes. So each of the movements is the next wish. Uh, and so I'll hold up a num I'll hold up a finger, but it's also okay. So three wishes. A blue dog. There was a sound like pop. And suddenly, there she was, tied to a post in our backyard. Mama refused to touch her. Papa poked at her with a stick. The rest of us dropped our party horns and ran to pet her. Stupid Laura Chase even licked her fur and told us it tasted like blue cotton candy. The grown-ups in the neighborhood would get real quiet when I'd walk my blue dog around the block. Papa would catch people climbing over our backyard fence all the time. Once, someone burned down her house. The flyers we always posted never needed pictures. They would just say, missing, in big black letters. Then beneath that, blue dog. She'd always wind up back in our yard with her fur shaved off mm -hmm. or missing a paw. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I had to pull her around in my old wagon and hold her over the grass to pee. Papa said no more pets after Mama found two soft blue ears in the mailbox. We didn't bother posting any signs. Ten more wishes. My brother and sister were born. Then they weren't. My teeth rotted out. Mama and Papa bought a mansion. The dragons ate up all the zoo animals. The boogeyman came for Hector. My sister was born, but not my brother. I woke up six foot nine. I went to outer space. Some peace and quiet. At first, I missed the sound of my mother singing as she washed dishes. I even missed the forks, how they chimed as she stacked them in the drawer. I missed the colicky howls of Inez, the deep gulps of milk rolling into her little belly. I missed the snap of teeth biting into an apple the tin sound of the doorbell, that waiting sound right before the phone would ring. I missed Papa clearing his throat as he turned each page of the morning paper. Now, I only miss the sound of my own voice. If I had to describe it to someone who just met me, I guess I'd say, my voice looks like this, a gold-skinned woman in a gown of honeybees pinning love letters to the bottom of the sea. Hmm.